Super excited, you guys, to give you a tour of my brand new 2019 Grand Design Imagine Travel Trailer. It is the 2600 RB. Let's uh, go inside and have a look. First thing you can see when you come inside is my coffee bar. I have my Nespresso Mini, my milk frother, and my French press. Of course, water and all of my extra things are inside here. You've seen these in the stores before. This actually comes off, so it's empty in there. I could flip this whole unit over, you use it as a footstool, or underneath here, is Jasper's bed. Now a couple of updates to my unit or some changes that I made. First of all, this couch. Originally I had a leather pull-out sofa in here because I thought a lot of people would want to come and visit and stay with me. But the couch itself was super, super uncomfortable and so was the bed. Since this was going to be my space, I wanted to find something that was better for me. Grand Design had an option to upgrade to, I think it was called theater seating, which was two recliners, but they were about $1,500 to buy after I got the unit. So I found this recliner for about 500 bucks. The next thing that I upgraded and is a little bit different is the table and chairs. For some reason, I found that a dinette set up was more for families and kids. Yes, I'm missing out a little bit on the storage, but at the end of the day, I think this looks and feels a lot more grown up and a little bit more like home versus an RV that I'm gonna just be traveling in. Being new to the RV world, the kitchens seemed so small. And it turns out my unit actually has a quite a large and a large kitchen that also has some really useful space in it when compared to some other units. I've got this fabulous large sink. My dishes are drying here. And I've got a detachable sprayer that I can change the water pressure. Quite often the sinks have been placed in the corner to create more space, but what Grand Design has done on this model is put a large sink off to the side. I still have all of this counter space for cooking and prep work, and then this piece just pops right up, so I've got tons of space. This didn't have anything to do with my reason for purchasing this unit, but it is kind of cool. Underneath my refrigerator is a little drawer that I call the Jasper drawer. I've got his food and water, life jacket, brush, everything Jasper needs tucked away in his own place. Bedrooms in a lot of these RVs are not bare, no, no not very large either and something i did because i wanted to be comfortable i took out the really cheap crappy rv that was in here it was it says it's a queen size but what i'm learning is that an rv queen is not like a real life queen i put my queen size mattress in here so you can see with a full size queen in here there really isn't a lot of space to get by but all you're really doing is sleeping in here. I've got two wardrobes, one here, hello. And I honestly have more clothes than I know what to do with. There's a little drawer in here beside the bed and tons of space on both sides. I really don't have enough clothes to fit in here. This seems to be pretty common in RVs, but there is also additional storage underneath the bed. Now I chose this unit partly because I said already the large kitchen, but also because of the large bathroom. Again, if you're not familiar with RVs, bathroom really isn't that big. When I shopped around, this was one of the nicest bathrooms in one of the smaller rigs. Got a pretty massive counter in here, a large drawer and a whole bunch of cupboard space up here. 
gonna hop into my shower. I don't know if you can see this, but there is actually a decent amount of space in here. Again, which is not, look at all this space. Again, it's something that is not very common in a lot of rigs that are as small as mine. That is really about it. Just wanna to touch quickly, I'm still learning a lot about RVs, but I'm pretty sure the designation 2600 means that I have 26 feet of living space. The actual length of my unit is just over 29 feet. And then RB stands for re rear bathroom. Someone told me it also stands for rear bedroom, which I've seen on other units. I'm not really sure, but this Imagine um, Travel Trailer 2600 RB does have a rear bath in it. I know a lot of people when they're looking at purchasing an RV are really concerned about the size of the freshwater tanks and the different types of insulation. All of that was basically Chinese to me. <laughs> so when I was shopping, obviously a few basic things were really important, but at the end of the day, I wanted a space that felt like home. I am pretty confident after the short time I've spent in here and the amount of things that I've learned, I'm going to have some different requirements if I ever do upgrade or change this unit. For those of you that are interested in more specific things, more specifications about the specifics of this Grand Design travel trailer, I'm going to include a link down below and I'm also going to show some of the specs at the end of this video. As always, I'd really appreciate it if you guys are not already. Please follow me on Instagram, LaceyLee.Elliot, the All Points Road Trip on Facebook. And if you don't know, I have a podcast. It's a little easier to kind of update things as I go on the road versus trying to put together and edit these videos. So it's on iTunes right now. It is the All Points Road Trip. I'd love it if you subscribed and gave me some feedback. Wherever you guys are, whatever you are doing, I hope you're having a fabulous time. And just remember the theme of my new branding, the All Points Road Trip, is that it doesn't matter what direction you go. Stop planning, stop thinking, stop wishing. Just take the first step in any direction and go.